Nicole Zavala, and my ultimate goal is for everybody to know who the Nicole Zavala is. My parents are from Medellin, Colombia. I know my dad was sometimes involved with the cartel with my family members, but that's none of my business, so I don't ask no questions. Hands up, everybody, hands up. Growing up, me and my brother never struggled. My parents always gave us everything we wanted. I mean, there was money everywhere. We had money in Colombia, had money over here, money everywhere. I was like thinking about getting my boobs done. Again. I need to look perfect. You are perfect. Nicole is way too obsessed with her body. She stares at herself in the mirror 24-7, doesn't stop playing with her hair. She wants to look like a Barbie, but she's beautiful the way she is. I mean, we're twins. <laughs> My name is Michael Zavala, I'm 25 years old. I live in Miami, Florida, and I'm Nicole's twin brother. Me and Nicole are very close, but we're total opposites. I'm more business nine to five, and she likes partying all the time. People always coming at me like, oh my God, you're gonna look really plastic, you're gonna look fake. But that's exactly how I wanna look, plastic and fake. When I was in high school, I used to get bullied all the time, talking about how ugly I am. I look like a bird my whole life. So I was like, you know what, it. I'm gonna redo my whole self. It took multiple surgeries, but I'm really living my best life. This is Stephanie, and this is Kat. Hey, As you know, this is Tattoo Baby. Cool. Hi. Hi, Stephanie. Nice hey, girl, to nice you. to see you again. Yes. Yeah. I know this girl, Nicole. I see her around all the time in Miami. She thinks she's famous, famous for nothing. How was that whole Young Money situation going on? Great. Oh, you're still with them? Yeah. Of course. How do I feel about Stephanie? I don't like Stephanie. Yeah, she's with Young Money, but I know she everybody there. She has to somebody to be where she's at right now. You three ladies are perfect for Pierre Blanc. Just because, you know, this brand represents this kind of world, this lifestyle that we all grew up in. This definitely hits very close to home for me because my father got murdered when I was four years old. For me, my dad was a drug trafficker and a drug transporter. For 13, 14 years until the feds came and broke down our door. Well, me, you know, my family, it was all with that, you know, cartel situation and stuff. But I never asked no questions, because you know, I was, I was living good. You know, I really can't compare it to your story. You know, because I really never so went through that. You were, you were raised like pretty wealthy, right? But was it your father that was involved in the cartel? Uh, my family members, all my family members, all your. Mm -hmm. I'm confused because you're living good from your father being in the business or my, your father's family. I never asked my dad none of his business. I just know that his family members was deep in that. You get what I'm saying? No, but where's your dad now? Like, he's in prison no. or? He's in New York, he's living in New York. My parents were smart about it. They didn't get locked up or shot or anything like that. That's a damn lie. There's only two ways out of the cartel. You go to jail or you get murdered. I'm not buying it. Do you want another drink? Yeah. More lemon? Yes. Are you serious, bro? That girl is full of I'm going to look into this because this to me don't feel right. Then do it. I feel like I got to go over there and talk to her about what I found. If something is bothering me, if I feel a type of way, you are going to know about it. There's something really weird about this girl, Nicole. So her being here to me is just pointless. And I have to call her out on it. Hey. Hey. We need to talk. Yeah, give me one second. What were you saying? Oh, okay. Let's hold for the princess now. Can we talk somewhere else? <laughs> okay, what do you want to talk about? What are you trying to do? You're coming here to a group of people that have been affected in a really big way. Okay, what are you talking about? Be more specific, explain yourself. No, no, this is serious. What is this? What is this? What is this? You posted the NYPD. What are you trying to say? 
say? You say your family is cartel. Mm -hmm. And then you're hosting a family member NYPD police badge. Okay. Like it's nothing. Because my family, one Who of my family. Who the are you? Get your fingers out of my Who face. The are you? Get your fingers out of my face. Who the f are you? Look at you, look at you. Because you're ratchet. coming look into a you. situation pretending to be something that you're not. You don't know That's what I've been through, what okay? Really? My family, really? A lot of, I had really? a lot of family members that died, okay? Oh my Just God, you like so that. ratchet for me. I'm too so ratchet because of how I'm out here trying to change the image that we have. I'm trying to show the world that the Blancos are no longer that type of violent family. This could mess everything up. Not only that, what if these girls hurt each other? The cops show up? Who you think's going to jail? Mikey Blanco, that's who. You that low class bitch. Serve me my drink, bitch. Serve me low class bitch. I'm 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 low class bitch. this lying cartel wannabe bitch come and talk to my best friend like that? I know how hard Stephanie worked to be where she's at. Stephanie tried to talk to you like an adult, but guess what? Now you're gonna have to f deal with me. No, 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 no. Who the f are you? Hey. Who the f are you? Hey. Who the f are you? Hey. You don't know how to I'm talk. The last thing that I want is Michael getting involved in some female drama. Michael is still on probation. I don't need him getting in trouble for anything. And this bitch is not worth it. I don't care. This is wrong, right, or sideways. I don't give a That's family. So get a bigger family. This ain't the real f cartel. Hello, what's up? Who the f are you talking to, bitch? Relax, relax, no, relax, no, relax. we're not crossing that line. We're not crossing that line. Hey, it's all right, bitch. I'll catch your ass another day, bitch. That bitch sucks, yo. She has every celebrity in this town. Get out of here, bitch. Let me explain you the story and then you tell me what you think. Marie is Michael Blanco's girlfriend. Right. So they have the whole fashion yeah, line. Know. So her friends, Stephanie pulled out a cop badge from 2013 in my Twitter. You're hosting a family member NYPD police badge. Okay. Like it's nothing. Get your fingers out of my face. Who the f are you? She was saying I'm lying about my background. Bitch, my uncle is a cop. You act like none of these people in the cartel have cops under. You know that, Bob. Like, yeah, man. You know, I was overwhelmed. It took me back to, like, when I used to get bullied back in high school. So you know what I did? I investigated her life. I heard from my friend that her dad got short years in jail. So I'm here thinking, he snitched. Yo, man, you can't say that, Nicole. I had a little altercation with Nicole. She was trying to imply that, you know, like that your dad must have been working with the feds, then got less time or whatever. What? Wait, what? Yeah. And I don't know what the f got into me that I got so angry. And the Caesar salad started flying, and then I don't remember what happened next, but all I remember was I was like this. I had her f head like, come here, bitch. Thank you so much for sticking up for me. No, You're a real man. one for that. But Listen, at the end of the day, it's not fair. At the end of the day, it's not fair. Day, it's off what not she fair. Did. You can't tell no one something like that. You nobody, Nicole. Why you do that? Because she want to find out about me. So you have time to look back. Yeah, I know. Six, I, seven I, years I mean, ago on a cop badge. So you trying to put that on me? Those cards on me? She has the nerve doing that. Who the does she think she is? Bro? Crazy. 
My dad did five and a half, six years in prison. After that, you do halfway house. Then you go to house arrest. Then my dad did an additional three years in probation. Exactly. There's a lot of things that break it down, hey, but you're still in prison. But somebody you're that's ignorant and doesn't know the legal system. Exactly. So like, the fact that she's talking about something she has no clue about, my dad has never been a rat. My dad doing time with dignity and doing his time as he should doesn't make him a snitch. It makes him a boss. She doesn't know about any of this. She's a phony and she's a fraud. You Do understand. you know how disrespectful it that is, is to say that to somebody who served their time and didn't say one word to the cops? Okay, you go and apologize to her and that's it. I mean it, really serious. I don't know, I'll think about it. No, 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 no don't think about it, say yes. I will do that. As a father, I tell you to go and apologize to her, period. And that's it, it that's the end of it, done. There's things that we understand that, that somebody who hasn't lived our life will not understand. Who the f does she think she is? If I see her, it's done. this girl has just said about my dad. You know what she said? He got less time because he was a snitch. That's wrong. Uh, I'm sorry, but that's you don't so talk about my dad like that. No. We're 1-1, one, one. we're tied. Yeah. Girl, um, Stephanie's over there. I think she noticed you. I don't know if she noticed me, but I'm gonna come up to her. Look, the truth is, my dad made me realize that in this cartel world, you don't call somebody a snitch. That's very, very dangerous. So maybe I did f up. I'm ready to apologize to Stephanie and put this all behind us. As long as these bitches don't decide to throw drinks, salads, and everything around before I even get the chance. It's about to go down. That's serious. Do I punch the bitch in the face or do I ask her why she's talking about my dad? That's where I'm at right now. You know what's so crazy, bro? The vibe changes, bro. The vibe yeah. changes when there's something bad around. That's how it is. Are you guys gonna go over there together, or? Nah, no, let her do the thing. I'm gonna go by myself. I'm gonna go by myself. What I wanna know is what you're gonna do about that. She's here right now. If she touches me, it's a wrap. Oh. I don't want her to be by herself. Nicole deserves to get slapped in the face for what she said about Stephanie's father. I can't wait for Stephanie to put her in her face. I'm ready for more. Please, let's have this conversation. Um, come over here. Yeah, come because over here. me and you. You guys can stay over here. Hi. Why would you ever, ever? Okay, babe. We searched my dad. Okay, just we're not asking you. We're not talking about a Hold friend. Up. We're talking about our parents. All right. You do not research anybody's father. That is the ultimate disrespect, okay? My dad did prison time. Honorably, he did what he had to do. No, I can't. Because you have the need to research my dad and then just like you research me, I research you and that's it. No, I'm not going to research me. Like, the only thing I said was, oh, but her dad got short time. And that's it. That's all that came out of my mouth. Now, if she wanted I'm glad that we're having a civilized conversation. Hold on, let me rephrase that. I'm actually shocked that we're having a civilized conversation. 
but I'm not sure this woman can be trusted. Regardless, I'm glad that she apologized. You apologize to me, and I'm not gonna fight someone or get it in someone's face if someone's saying I'm sorry. This is what I needed. Like before, that didn't happen. Right. You know that I can't deal with childish people. You feel me? Yeah. So I appreciate that yeah. you, you know, actually hearing me out, and I'm hearing you out. Yeah. Well, we got that understanding, yeah, so we course. can just move on. All right, cool. All right, let's do that. To be honest, I wasn't expecting that. They're gonna come and tell me that. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to go look up your father. Bitch, go do research on your family and then come back and tell me you're sorry. Well, I apologize. She didn't apologize. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to leave it like that. You feel me? I'm giving her this chance. What the f is going on here? Stephanie let Nicole off way too easy. Now, I'm over here. I just fought with this bitch. And now I feel this small because she decided to accept her apology. That's a huge slap in the face to me. You gotta let people realize what they did wrong in order for them to see the right, you know what I'm saying? When I was back in high school, I didn't have no friends. I was ugly, nobody with me. Back then, I didn't defend myself. So I felt like I had to find something on Stephanie. But now, I see it like it could have been worse for me. These girls struggled, like, super bad. Hello. Hi. Well, I appreciate you coming and answering my DM. I almost didn't. I feel like we have a lot to talk about outside of everybody. Because I feel like you couldn't really get it all out. Mm -hmm. It was hostile, and uh, I was very upset. But I appreciate you coming and telling me that you were sorry. Of course, yeah. I hope I don't regret this, but I feel like I needed to come and I needed to talk to you about a few things that we've said to each other. Right. Things that I feel like we need to clear up. So, like, first of all, I just want to clear up the fact that I'm not a prostitute. At least I'm some a bitch. She has every celebrity in this town. She's not going to come here and embarrass me. Don't make me name drop. I love it. You was a prostitute. I'm not an escort. escort. You was an escort, yes. That's what I, said. I don't sell my yep. don't don't talk about me like that. But remember, you was talking about an old ass cop badge. Come for me and I'm gonna come for you. Okay, yes. I said some things about you, you said some things about me. Okay. Let's move forward from it. Cause honestly, the girls attacking me, I'm not, I don't, I don't like that. I used to be bullied my whole life when I was little. Right. You know, like, I'm not gonna lie, like, yeah, I'm all plastic, you know, plastic surgery and stuff, but back then I was not so attractive, you could say. So I would just always used to get bullied, called names all the time. So when you girls attacked me, it all gave me flashbacks, you know? Yeah and I don't want to go back to that, you know? Yeah. I went through a, a stage where I was struggling with weight, and kids are so cruel, you know? Like, if you don't look how they think or they see something out of place, and they're going to get you for it. They're going to bully you. They're going to call you fat. They're going to, you know, and that hurt me. Like, I'm sorry that you, you went through that because I don't care. Nobody should go through that, right. you know? Me and Nicole have a lot more in common than I thought and we're kind of connecting in different levels. She might have not had the same upbringing and the same struggles, but there is other realness to her, which I can relate to. I'm really happy that we spoke. You know, I think that we connect at more levels than I thought. I got to know you today for the first time, and I'm gonna give you that chance. I don't know if Marie's gonna forgive me for this, but I'll give her a second chance. Let's move forward and little baby steps, little by little. Oh, of course, definitely. Baby steps. It. Doesn't mean we're best friends or anything like that. Like, don't get it twisted. We cheers. Wait, where's mine? Hi. Hello, hello. How are you? Hello. Yes. Hey, babe. The How the f you bring Without this girl cat. to my party? Well, Kat invited me, so. She invited you, she didn't invite her. Your bestie? I think 
this whole situation with Marie has gotten way out of proportion. So yeah, I brought Nicole, and I think it's time for all of us to just hash it out. We say what we feel, and we move on. Best friend didn't tell you she was bringing her other bestie. No. Well, she's here now, so I'm gonna take a seat. You wanna take a seat? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Remember, tonight's about fun. About fun? It's gonna be super fun. You're right about that. <sighs> Hope you're prepared for it. Oh, I'm prepared. Oh, you are? Mm-hmm. Is this what you brought your best friend for? Hi. Shady people hang out with shady friends. That's how it goes over there. Well, come on. At least let's have a good time and then let's ease and then we can like talk out our differences. Is that what we're gonna do? Because if not, we can just jump right into it. I don't need to be attacked and made a fool out of when I just brought somebody that I think we could be all grown women about and talk it out. I just find it so funny that you're sitting next to a person that did something wrong to you and you're okay with just hanging out. And well, I apologize because I'm a grown ass woman and I'm mature about it. Some people are not mature. Like you, you are immature. Wait, you got something to say? No, you got something to say? No, right, let's talk, let's talk. We gotta squash some all right, go Steph. ahead, Steph. What the you gotta say? What, what I wanna say is, I'm sorry for being the bigger person. I'm sorry because people make mistakes. I accept their apology. Nobody's putting their pride aside. Nobody's saying, you know what? Let me think about this. Is this worth it? I'm the only one looking like I'm young money, bitch. I have a lot to lose. You think you're better than me because you're young money? I'm a mother. I have a I have a business. I have a lot to lose myself. Let me ask you something, Stephanie. So while we were in New York with your best friend, what was you doing out here with Little Wing instead of being over there with her? What are you talking about? You're her best friend. No. At the end of the day, you're I know best what friend. I am. You don't gotta tell me what I am and what I am not. Her best friend would be there for their friend. Listen. When they're on the floor crying. Cat, why are you having them speak a type of way when you know exactly what I stayed here for? Because you make out with your boss. What do you have to say about that? First of all, you making assumptions that I'm like, I'm making out with Wayne? What is wrong with you? Are you kidding me? For you to ever say I'm a hoe and then I'm for Wayne. First of all, Wayne is giving me an opportunity that none of your bitches have. supposed to be Stephanie's best friend and she's just standing there watching her get attacked? I wasn't planning to bring up Giselle Rosario tonight, but Stephanie is my friend now and I have to stand up for her. Okay, Giselle What is Giselle Rosario? When we fought, I could, yo, that you were selling It's actually you who sell Wait, um, what are you talking about? The South Rosario. Show me your and I will show you my Look. What is that? Webcam. What the f is that? about this? What the f is that? No, what the f nothing. You brought her to do that? I did not bring her to do that. She yes, you did. did that on It's the last night in Medellin before we go back to Miami. And I'm just glad that everybody's getting along. Even Diana and Nicole. And finally, we were able to enjoy this trip together. Where's Nicole and Stephanie? They're probably getting uh, ready. They do the extra time. <laughs> what did I say? Look at, look at them. Look at them. Look at them. Nicole, I'm sorry, but this is too much for Lowe's right now. Speak for yourself, right bro. But you know what I was thinking about? I, I feel bad for all the people that dress up at the gym that actually work hard for their abs because I'm a fat boy. I got these little black widows hanging out with me. 
<laughs> you do it all for nothing, play. All of it for nothing. I want a shot, though. You get well, a shot. You want to take a shot one. with me, Diana? <laughs> Yo, a few months ago, everybody hated my ass. Now we all here having a good time. Never underestimate Nicole Zavala. You know what you should do? You know, what is the shot that goes in between the boobs? Just bring it to me. You look like you put the shot here, and then she takes it from you. All right, where are the shots? Diana, your girlfriend is gonna kill you. What am I doing? Like, bro, leave him. You're like an audience. Go. Go, lean. <laughs> I feel like De Niro is here, and I have to cover De Niro. Oh, my life. God. Oh, my God, like... Kat, come on. I'm not a two-year-old. Woo! I want one. Oh, her. Oh, okay. I can't with y'all. No. You should go topless. Oh, that's what you want. Oh, my God. I love her. For Stephanie, you got to explain yourself. With Kat, you got to humble yourself. And with Diana, all you got to do is take your top off. This is the kind of energy I like. We got all the on the table and moved on. I love everybody in this jacuzzi right now, and I show people I love them by waving my tits in their face. That's my love language, tits in the face. <laughs> no, come on, bro. You need, you're supposed to be in security. Come here. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna get killed when I get home. All right, you guys shoot. I'm gonna go talk to my girl. Baby. You look good. Thank you. Damn, I got makeup all over you. Yeah, look at my shirt. I'm gonna have to take it off. <gasps> take it off. Take it off? I'll take it off later. Okay. Deal? Mm -hmm. well, you can take it off later. Yeah, of course. <laughs> my new boo is Tori Craig. He played for the NBA. He plays for the Denver Nuggets. My face is not oily? Uh, no. I actually made the first move. I went on his Instagram and I was like, hold up, who is this? So I ended up liking all his pictures. I like, like, 10 pictures. That's when he DM'd me, and that same night, we met up. We was just vibing. Ever since that day, everything has just been great. That's my makeup right there. And I smell like you. That's good. That's good that you it smell like good. me. <laughs> <laughs> Last time I was here, I was in and out, so I told you I was going to come for you and spend a few days down here, so. And then, you know, it shows me, like, OK, he really do care, you know? Yeah. But I feel like we got a good connection, and we got a good vibe going, so I don't think it's too many things that can get in between that. Tori is the perfect man for me in so many ways. I mean, I'm a freak, he's a freak. Every time we're together, the sex is amazing. And we also have a deep connection. Like, we share our feelings and stuff. He treats me so good, you know, compared to my ex-relationship. I dealt with a lot of clowns. Yeah. Hey, I'm gonna tell you something. My ex-boyfriend, he was very insecure. He didn't like my Instagram, didn't like the pictures I post, didn't, like, didn't support me in nothing I was doing. It was an abusive relationship. I mean, that's a lot. That's a lot to deal with. I never told you that because it's like we're starting something fresh. I didn't yeah. want to bombard you with everything. I feel like you'd be drama free with me. Yeah? Well, I'm here to support you. Anything you do, you know I got your back. <laughs> These past few months that I've been with Tori, I don't have no drama with him. He respects me. And honestly, I haven't felt like this for nobody else. All right, babe, so I was going to ask you, um, just because I'm very curious, but besides me, are you dating anybody else? No, I wouldn't be here if I was. Oh, my Jimmy! <laughs> Did you think I was? I mean, I don't know. How about you? No. <laughs> We're gonna have a good time. We're gonna have fun. Yeah? yeah. Like a lot of fun? A lot of fun. A lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> So what I had in mind, it's like I'm shedding my old skin, transforming into something new. I guess a little bit more me being intimate with the snake. All right, cool. This photo shoot with the snake represents where I am in my life in so many ways. I just got out of a six month long relationship with a guy that on me, gave me me. What the are you kidding me? Michael Zavala. I know. So, um, yeah, I think 
it's time for a change. Are you rocking the snake as headphones right now? I don't know, like, that's what it feels like. <laughs> Modeling and photography are very important to me. I introduce animals so I can use them to express what I'm feeling at the moment or what I'm going through. I'm the animal. Awesome. Oh, I love it. Are you serious right now? Get this snake away from me, bro. All right. All right, let me do my thing. I'm just gonna go freshen up and FaceTime with my boo. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that. Michael's my twin brother and I love him to death. But lately I've been thinking we should go our separate ways and I should get my own place. Awesome. Remember you're shedding that skin. My brother's in his own planet. He keep doing his art in my house and stuff with animals and shit. Like, this is not a petting zoo. This is not a jungle. Shift your eyes. He be wearing animals now. Like butterflies and octopuses and shit. That's weird. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Hi, baby. <laughs> baby, I'm ready for you whenever you come in over here. We got a lot of catching up. I know. We need to make all these pornos together. <laughs> oh, babe, I miss you so much. My boot Tori was just in Miami the other day and we had such a good time. But now he's away for his playoffs and stuff. I'm really not an NBA expert, but I think the playoffs is when you're a good team. Right? Like, I'm really proud of you, though. Like, you're doing so good in your playoffs and I know it's been a long playoffs, but... Hopefully, we get to win tomorrow. And after the season, man, you can leave. Baby, up. but like, if you keep winning, then it's gonna take longer for me to see you. Well, that's a good and bad thing, kind of. <laughs> so, um, I wanted to talk to you. Like, I really like, you know, me, like, being with you, like, talking to you and stuff. Like, I really like you, and I really like, you know, what we got yeah. going on, you know? And I feel like you can tell the, the feeling is beautiful. Definitely have some some sort of connection and a uh, vibe. So cute. <laughs> baby, you're making me blush. Stop it. <laughs> it. Baby, I wanna have a baby. I wanna have a baby, yeah. We what's your time about? Like now. <laughs> That was random. <laughs> Listen, I've been having some serious baby fever lately. Like, I'm already thinking about names. Every time I go to a store, I see little clothes for the little kids. Like, if it's a girl, we're gonna be like little twins all the time. You know, like, I just wanna start a family at this point. You think you're ready for that? Hell yeah, I'm ready. It's time for me to settle down. Like, I'm tired of working in the clubs and shit. Plus, I'm 26 years old, like, I'm ready. You sure you wanna have a baby with me? Of course! A little sorry Greg running around? Hell yeah! That would be so cute. You don't think so? You don't think so? Yeah, for sure. I agree. Oh, okay. <laughs> All I can say is now is time will tell. We can just go from there. Okay, babe. Well, I know you're busy and stuff, so I'll give you a call later on, okay? Alright, I'll talk to you later. Okay, boo. I'll give you a call. All right. Bye, babe. All right. Bye. Yo! That dude is gonna get me pregnant now. <laughs> yes! I really don't know how to make pancakes. Oops. Oh, God. Oh, oh my God, the pancake is burnt. <sighs> me. What you cooking? Breakfast. I burned the pancake. Oh, it's okay. So you can have this one. Nah, I'll take the burnt one. Oh my god. It just tastes like char. It's bacon though. <laughs> Babe, those wow. pants are cheap. It was not me, it was those pants. Well, I think it's cute. Did you at least try it? Cheers. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> But thanks. I think I'm better off just doing dinner. <laughs> so besides breakfast, what do you want to do tomorrow? Whatever you want to do. I don't know, maybe jet ski? That's scary, though, because I be thinking there's sharks that's going to come and attack me. I mean, there are sharks, but it'll be fun. No, oh, it's I'm joking. But baby, let's do a double date. I set up a little blind date. My girl, Stephanie, she needs a man. She needs somebody. I can invite my boy, Dino. OK, yeah, 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 OK, we could do that. But if I tell her that there's another guy coming, like a double date, she's not going to come. I 
I know Stephanie is gonna be so mad at me, but I'm sorry, that girl needs a man in her life. Stephanie's all over the blogs. These people are saying Stephanie has feelings about Cat's man. The blogs is gonna say whatever they wanna say. But you know, I think what she needs to do is come out and have some fun. Plus, I haven't introduced my man to anyone yet, and I wanna show him off. I'm gonna call her right now. Girl. Oh, I was thinking, you want to do like jet skis or something? Um, uh, who's going? No, just me. Oh. Like, we okay. could just chill and vibe because I haven't seen you, so. I don't know if I Just come, just right. come for a little bit. Come for like an hour. All right. Okay, so I'll see Bye. you later. All right. Okay, okay boom. Bye. All right. I hope your jet ski skills is better than your breakfast skills. It's Nicole. Yeah, right. Nicole is coming over here to take care of my beautiful princess. She's my beautiful princess, too. Are you playing with me? No, I'm serious. Bro, she's like your Listen, arch nemesis. I, no, we talk things out. You know, like, this is a good step into, like, you know, me and her kind of mending our relationship and stuff like that. And she's already on her way. Well, I know one thing. I got this little nanny cam right here. Then that's all we need. Relax, man. <laughs> Wait, hold on, no. hold on, watch. Michael. Hi. You got any weapons on you? No, no, I got nothing. Oh, I hope you're gonna be comfortable. Say hi. Hi. Oh, oh she likes me. Oh, look at that. I think it was really cool for me and Marie to sit down like grown women to talk about all of her issues. If Marie is willing to let me stay with her baby, she must really trust my skills. I'm gonna take her like if it's my own kid. Don't make me make you disappear, Nicole. No. <laughs> Michael. Come, 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 let's play. Mommy, mommy. Look, Faith, you wanna look. Mommy, mommy. <laughs> come over here, come over here, come, come. You wanna be the pole? You wanna be the pole? Don't worry, she's gonna come back. She's gonna come back. Let's play with the um the doll and the horsey. You did this to her? You put marker on her head? No. Yes, you did. Yes. Why did you do that? Now the doll looks really ugly. Oh, oh God. Huh? Do I have to change your pampers? Is that telling me a sign? Yeah? Oh, my God. Come over here. Oh, no. Nope. I'm wearing heels, girl. Come over here. Let me see if you have anything going on. Come over. Wait, wait. Wait. You can't run like that. She's running around all over the house like we in a damn track team. Like, girl, I'm wearing heels. You want, you want me to read you a book? Knocks and box, fox and socks. Knocks on fox and socks in a box. These books don't make no sense. I got you a bowl. Because right now you look a little crazy. Yes, girl, we're going to slay. There you go. Let's put it like that with your little bowl. Now nah, you look like a fly little baby. Yeah? No, no, no. We're going to keep it real cute, real sexy, you know? Like that. Look how cute. Oh, you don't like that. Damn, girl. We're not the same. Hi, bro. Hey, hey babe. How, how are, you? are you? Good. What you making over here? Doing stir fry and chicken. Do you know how to cut vegetables? Yeah, I could do that. Show me. I know how to do that, no, because I, I just did my hair and everything, so I don't want to touch the food like that. All right. I'm going to cut it. So like that? Yeah. So how are things going with you and Hori? Good. He just finished his training. He's going to come back to Miami soon. So I just want to take it to the next level, and this is the person that I want to like have a kid with, you know? What? You, no, you guys been dating for how long? A couple of months now. But Michael, you don't understand. Those couple of months for me feel like forever. Nicole hasn't had the best relationships in the past, so I understand why she's excited with Tori. And I'm happy for her. She finally found a guy that treats her the way she should be treated. But that doesn't mean she should rush into having a baby. <sighs> Nicole, but first you gotta be official official, like with a ring. I'm ready, like I'm ready what to retire the nightlife. I just feel like I wanna settle down 
and be more mature and grow up, basically. But you think you're well, capable of taking care of another yep. human being? Mm -hmm. Nicole, you can't even take care of yourself. I take care of you. You take care of me how? What do you mean how? For, perfect example, I'm cooking for you. Okay, well, I could learn how to cook, it doesn't matter. How much do you want to bet I'm gonna be the one kid taking care of that baby the whole time? Stop crying. You know me and mom always like support you and everything and like always help you. No, you guys don't support yeah, me because do. mommy tells me the same bull Because we're- Oh my God, you're too crazy. You do it muy loca. How you gonna have a kid? I know I lived a because wild ass life. Oh bro, people, it got to the point I'm tired of it. People, That's it, people change. I'm not dumb. I know how to handle myself. I'm a grown ass woman and I'm serious about this. It really bothers me for people to think that I'm immature. I mean, yeah, I might be a little slow and but I'm actually street smart. Like, I know what the I'm doing. It's not a joke to me. Like, this is real. And you think that's gonna make you happy? Yeah. I feel like you're super serious and you really mean what you're saying. I'm being serious, you know? Yeah. That's how I really feel. Like, you know how I am. Once something goes in my head, that's it. Yeah. Oh my God, thinking about it, I can't. <laughs> Nicole pregnant. it. Mm. Hopefully. Okay. You taking me to a factory? What is this? You see. Oh my God, babe. Baby, I love this. <gasps> Baby, I didn't know you were this romantic. Oh my God, I love this. Oh, thank you, babe. Was this anything you imagined? At all, I was like, where are you taking me? But this is really cute. Just to show you my appreciation. You being patient throughout the season, <laughs> waiting for me to get here. So this this is your night, this is for you. Thank I you, appreciate babe. You. This is so cute. Cheers to my trip here, to us. I feel like this is you, though. This is this has Nicole oh, yeah, written all over it. Super extra. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I can't believe he planned all of this. Like, all the lights, the freaking violin, and a basketball court, knowing that he plays basketball. <laughs> this man is, like, amazing. For real. That's why I want to have the baby with Tori. This is so beautiful, babe. Thank you so much. I just, I... That's a bird? No. So embarrassing. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome, darling. Hey, Chef, you want to teach Nicole? I don't know how to cook. <laughs> sure. <laughs> That'd be super simple. I don't know about simple. She used flour to make bacon. Oh, OK. Um, well, <laughs> it'll be a little bit of a challenge, but <laughs> I got you, girl. <laughs> That's not a deal breaker. But I at least think you should consider taking cooking lessons. Oh, of course I am. Hell yeah, I have to, babe. Like, imagine when you have kids and stuff, I have to cook for them. Babe, I'm gonna be honest with you. You treat me very good, okay? I just want to get to know you more and be around you more, especially now that you're off season, you know? I know you'd be busy, but I really wanted you to stay, like, at least two more days. Two more days? Yeah. I mean, I told you I'd come back. Yeah, but when I don't see you, it just makes it harder. Yeah. Like relationships are tough, man. They're just tough for me. Um, but it's a lot just dealing with basketball and everything that come with it and your obligations. And, Cause there's a lot of you don't really know about me. Um, my mom went to jail for 17 years. Why your mom went to jail? Um, she was involved in a lot of different drug situations and got caught up in. So she got out about six years ago. So yeah, it's like now I gotta take care of my mom, take care of my son, make sure they're good. I have a lot of people kind of depending on me, so you don't kind of have room for any distractions. I have all these other obligations and I've been single the past four years because of that reason. Um, it's kind of tough trying to do all that at the same time. So putting all your effort and time into this one person. That's the thing about relationships, and that's why I'd be 
so hesitant to to try to take it there with someone. Um, so you saying you will never be in a relationship? No. I mean, of course we're gonna have fun and have good times, but like, you have to figure out how to balance it all out and make sure it's the right situation with the right person. Yeah. Playboy life. Hey, babe. What are you doing? I'm out here in Vegas, working out. Yeah, how is it? It's cool. Uh, my agent just came out here, my financial advisor. So, we all, we all have dinner tonight. Yeah, I'm over here packing and stuff. Packing for what? San Diego. I don't know if you know what's going on with like the border. The kids are getting taken away from their families and stuff. Yeah. So they're doing like a protesting over there. So I'm gonna go with the girls this weekend. We're gonna give back and like protest because it's just so sad, you know? Oh yeah, I mean it is sad, but I think it's pretty cool to decide you guys can go out there. Yeah, I'll tell you more about it after like I come back and stuff. Yeah. When are you gonna come up here and visit me? Yeah. No, to Miami. Um, it's just a weird time right now because of all the the trades, the free agencies, and things like that. So yeah, it's kind of tough to tell right now. Honestly, Tori has been super distanced with me, and I don't know where his head is at in our relationship. Like, I was about to ask this man if he want to have a kid with me, but now I don't even know if he want to be in a committed relationship with me. Like, you are busy. I understand your schedule. But, babe, at least come towards, like, the end of the month. Like, just one day. The thing is, I have two camps I have to do. It's going to be tough to maneuver around that. You've just been so busy with your season, and it's like I thought the summer was gonna be like more better. I know, but it's like this just comes with being an athlete. Okay. I don't know. It's just it's just a lot right now, but I'll definitely post it. Um. Yeah. All right, babe. retirement party is a huge turning point for me and I need my man there to support me but to be honest lately I've been feeling that Tori has pulled away from me I thought what we had going on was great but based on what he was saying about being in a relationship I started feeling like he wasn't feeling the same way relationships are tough for me I have a lot of people depending on me so you don't have room for any distractions plus I barely heard from him the whole time we was in San Diego Where you at? Back home in school in Charlotte. What you been up to? Not just working out, really. Now I got to start these camps and stuff. So you're not going to come for my party? I want to, but... If you really wanted to, you would have. You think so? Yeah, because people make things for the things they want. You know that this party is something huge for me. No, I'll be here about this. You know, it gets me really mad because it's like, I'm always the one reaching out to you and you just go days with ignoring me. Like, you don't call me, you don't text me. Like, that really questions where we stand at. Oh my God, what is wrong with my phone? Can you hear me? Yeah. Like, what do you want? You tell me what you want. And then we're just gonna go from there. I mean, whatever you want to do. What do you mean, whatever I want to do? I think I have showed you and told you what I want. Obviously, I do want to with you, obviously. You know, because I wouldn't be in my feelings telling you how I feel. I don't do that if I didn't care about the person. But what I do deserve is a little bit of respect, okay? Hello? You just playing it by ear? Like, just going with the vibe. Look, that's what you gotta tell me? Yeah. Listen to me, babe. the cameras at this point, okay? I just wanna know, yeah. like, no, like, serious, though, Tori. Like, like, I really wanna know, like, if you wanna continue the 
for me, you tell me. If not, we go our separate ways, and that's what it is. Sorry. <sighs> Ladies, it's hunting season. It's hunting season. Me and Betty will be outside. Outside. We outside ready, looking for love. Looking for love. <laughs> what? Who's on this journey with <laughs> Just <laughs> us. Just us. Nicole. Nicole. No, not me, bro. What happened? Y'all right not ready for love? <laughs> It's hunting season. We're Nicole, you're going girl. hunting Nicole, with us. Nicole, you're going hunting with us. <laughs> I'm a lioness. I'm excited for our hunt. It's a hunt. We're going to find our husband. Hey. Maybe when we like get married, we could like have our babies at the same time. Oh my god. Stop sure. it. No, girl. All right, hold on for a second. So, oh, I'm going to tell you right now like um I was three months pregnant and I had a miscarriage. No. A few months ago. No. So that got like, that got, that me up mentally. Mm -hmm. Because y'all know how much I wanted to have a kid. Yeah. I was fired already, like, it was hot. Two weeks later, my grandpa passes away. Oh, God. I fell into a really bad depression. Having a miscarriage to some people is like, oh, you had a miscarriage, okay, you're gonna get over it but you had painted this picture in your brain and then all of a sudden, it just, it's gone, you know? Yeah. So it's it's tough and you I understand. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, it, I know it's personal and I'm sorry, but could you talk about your relationship with this person, you know? I mean, he was, at first he started off good. Okay. And then he was like, I can't have this baby. You're gonna have to figure it out. You know what I be doing in the streets. I, I could be here today, tomorrow I could be gone. Hey. No. Like he like, told you that? Yeah, he told me straight up. Before. He was just like physically, mentally like abusing me. And like to lose the baby. I was blaming myself because I was stressed out. That's what the problem is because you're fighting with the guy, you're stressing with the guy. So all of that puts more stress on you, you know? I had a miscarriage after Alexandra. You did? It, it was with me, but then I sat down and I was like, you know, Everything happens for a reason. Yeah. That's a fact because the baby daddy ended up in jail and everything. What? Oh my God. You know what, Nicole? You don't want a guy in jail, you with a barriga, pasando trabajo. Girl, that ain't life. I would have to go all the way to South Carolina with De Niro. I couldn't even explain to De Niro like where we're going. Like To this day, De Niro doesn't know that his dad was in jail. No, and the worst part is when they have Father's Day at school. Yeah. Like, that you know what? my heart. Career day, what did your dad do? I don't even tell <laughs> me. I don't even tell me. I remember but... career days. What did your father do? I mean, I have my own memories of visiting my dad. You can't even touch your dad or hug your dad, and every time you see your dad, it's, he just doesn't look like the same person. It's not something that you want your kids to grow up and see. Look at Marie. Look at Betty, look at me, look at Yvette. We came from dads in the system. We are kids speaking to you as adults, saying that that ain't it. I understand where you guys are coming from, but at, at that moment, I wasn't thinking about all that. At that point, I just wanted to have the kid, like, daddy, like, I don't care, you could, I, I got it myself, you get what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep it blunt, like, having a child is a decision that you need to make very responsibly. Mm. Right. You need time to heal from this, to be strong mentally so you can be strong for your kids. In the deepest of dark times. For the first time in my life, I feel strong. I've always been a person that hides my pain. Someone that puts on a happy face. But seeing people that are willing to be open about their struggles made me feel like I could do the same. I've learned that the only way out is through it. It's okay not to be okay. It's Tattoo Baby from Cartel Crew. Make sure you subscribe to VH1's YouTube channel so you don't miss anything this season.